Hey guys, it's me, the Stardust Dash, and I'm gonna be talking about my opinion on Equestria Girls as a whole again. So yeah, uh, let's go. And so Equestria Girls, um, it took place on the 16th of June, 2013, with the first ever movie happening after the end of season 3 of My Little Pony, Fre uh, French is Magic. And basically, in the first movie, uh, a former pupil of Celestia, of Celestia known as Sunset Shimmer, uh, returns to Equestria to steal Twilight's um, um, element of harmony, so, and so that she can rule both human and pony world, until Pony Twilight and Spike like go to the human world where they meet uh, uh, their uh, where they meet their friends but in, uh, but in human form obviously so yeah and then they take down Sunset, Sh uh, Sunset Shimmer and teach a friendship so yeah anyways uh, I thought the first movie was was good but I don't know it was lack it was lacking some story you know I feel like and it was kind of rushed in a way, so yeah. Anyways, you know, in 2014 we get Rainbow Rocks, and basically, um, in Rainbow Rocks, uh, three new villains known as the uh, known as the Dazzlings or Sirens from uh, from Equestria, they start using these mag they start using these uh, magical pendants to like hypnotize people and make them hate each other and make them like hate each other and so Sunset and her friends um, call Twilight back to, you know like call Pony Twilight back to their world to help out and at first they try the whole friendship thing again but then it doesn't work and so now they have to enter the battle of the bands and but then some problems start happening because you know like petty arguments happen and whatnot oh sorry <coughs> So yeah, until Sunset reminds them that they have to work together, and Sunset even gets her own pony form as well at last, so yeah, and then they take down the Dazzlings and get rid of their pendants, so yeah, and but now a Pony Twilight has to leave the human world, and that's it really, and, and, but, and but we do get a sneak peek for um, friendship games at the end, uh, with Sai Twy appearing, with Spike the dog, but he doesn't talk obviously, so yeah. But anyways, I thought Rainbow Rocks was actually great. It was better than, you know, uh, the first movie in my opinion, so yeah. Anyways, in 2015 we get uh, Friendship Games, uh, which takes place like during the Oh, which takes place during the season finale of 5 for French with Magic, I guess. So yeah. Um, anyways, in, uh, anyways, in Friendship Games, Sai Twai is in Crystal Prep, where the principal, known as Singe, uh, blackmails her into winning the Friendship Games for them. Uh, but she... Uh, but she keeps... Uh, like stealing magic for some reason, even though she, even though she, sorry, even though she doesn't want to steal magic, but yeah, uh, at, and but yeah, at one point, like, uh, but yeah, oh, sorry, at one point, like during the games, a sunset confronts her, um, and demands that she stops this madness, and yeah, and basically, Singe finds out that, you know, Sai Twai has been stealing, that Sai Twai has been storing magic in a pendant or whatnot. Or lock it, I guess. I don't know what it is. And so she persuades, like, Twilight or Sai Twai into, like, uh, into uh, unleashing the magic, which, uh, which transforms her into Midnight Sparkle. Ever then, ever then, a sunset with the help of her friends, obviously. And she's able to power up to and convince Sai Twai that, you know, friendship is the key, obviously. So, yeah. Anyways, at the end, anyways, you know, at the end, everyone stands up to Singe, and Sai Twai even leaves Crystal Prep to join Cantula High. 
So yeah, uh, <laughs> Pony Twilight does appear at the end, but it's too late now. So yeah, and that was the last time we see, and that was the last time we see uh, like Pony Twilight in Equestria Girls. So yeah, anyways, I thought Rain. Um, so yeah, anyways, I thought um, friendship. I thought friendship games was good, but you know, actually, I'm gonna be honest. It's it's slightly better than Rainbow Rocks. Slightly better, I would say. So yeah. Anyways, in anyways, yeah, in twenty in 2016, we get Legend of Everfree, which takes place in the summer, I believe. So yeah. Um, anyways, you know, like in Legend of e in Legend of Everfree, uh, Sai Twai is still like coping with the guilt of becoming a uh, Midnight Sparkle, and then the main seven are discovered that, you know, that you know, and that somewhere in I don't know the camp, there are seven geodes, which are probably meant for them, but then the I then one of the count, you know, I then one of the camp owners, um, Glorissa Daisy, steals them and starts, you know, getting like what's the word, uh, manipulated by the magic, I guess. And so she goes on a rampage until Psychi is able to take the geodes back from her, and then they power up to save the camp. And yeah, that's it really. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, also, um, um I also forgot to mention, um. Uh, Flash Sentry, like, uh, he tries to, you know, talk to Sai Twai, but it doesn't work, so yeah. And also, Filthy Rich tries to buy Camp Every, but then with the help of the girls, he fails! So yeah, uh, anyways, I thought Legend, I thought Legend of Every was, uh, was great too, but I don't know, it doesn't beat... I don't know. I feel like it, I feel like it doesn't beat Rainbow Rocks and, uh, uh, and and friendship games, in my opinion. So yeah. Anyways, after that, we don't get any we don't get any more movies, but we do get some TV specials. Like for example, in, in 2017, we got three TV special three TV specials. The first one is called Dance Magic. Our rarity gets. You know, like her crew to it gets her friends it gets her friends to team up with uh, the Shadow Bolts to make a music video called Dance Magic, which is still a banger, by the way. So yeah, and I thought that um, you know, like special was actually great. So yeah, and then we get like Movie Magic, where the main seven are invite, where the main seven girls are invited on the set of Darren onto the set of Darren Do by the director who is at Camp Everfree, so yeah, and th and then we find out that his uh, niece, a uh, uh, Juniper Montage has been taking like expensive props, and she tries to sell them, but uh, well, then she gets like caught in the act obviously, so yeah, and she gets kicked off set, and yeah, that's it really, and also the girls also like get a role in the new Darren Do movie at the end as well. Anyways, in Mirror Magic, a Juniper has a job as a movie theater employee thanks to her uncle. Uh, and yeah. Um, anyways, you know, um, it the sunset goes back to the sunset goes back to Twilight's castle, only to discover that she's not there. But Starlight Glimmer is there, and then Starlight Glimmer wants to go to the human world to see what life is like there. And then, and then she helps like deal with a, and then she and then she helps deal with like Juniper Montage, uh, who wants to I don't know like on a rampage I guess because of this magic mirror she has. Uh, but then Starlight convinces, but then Starlight convinces her otherwise. So yeah. Anyways, you know at the end, um, Twilight lets uh, Starlight stay in the in the human world for a few more days. Like for the movie, I guess. So yeah. Anyways, that was like 2017. Um, I thought all of these specials, yeah, were great. Uh, yeah. Anyways, in 2018 we get two specials. The first one is called uh, a forgotten friendship, 
where this background character known as a wallflower, bro a wallflower bro blush, sorry, um, uses something called the Memory Stone to take everyone's like good memory of Sunset Shimmer, making them think that Sunset is still a piece of shit, even though she isn't. But you know. And but then Sunset is able to learn from Pony Twilight and Celestia that the memories don't exist, and she even goes to Trixie for help, even though even though Trix sorry, even though Trixie like blackmails Star, you know like Sunset by saying that you know if she helps, Sunset has to put her magic poster uh, in the school yearbook. So yeah. Anyways, you know um, after they discovered that it's Wallflower Blush. If they get their memories, if they get their memories erased at first, but then Sunset, who is able to record their interaction on camera, is able to, is able to, um, you basically like, uh, what's the word, like, uh, recall their, um, you know, encounter with, uh, you know, like with a, like with a, what's the name, like Wallflower Blush, I think. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, you know, yeah, like if they remember their encounter. And Sunset even sacrifices Sunset even sacrifices her own memories so that her former friends can still uh, have their memories. And after and after all this time of them uh, are rejecting are rejecting Sunset Shimmer, uh, they're finally like, oh my god, like she is a, you know, like oh my god, like she's a real friend after all. And so because of that, they. Uh, they stand with Sunset, and then their geodes, like, you know, like, glow up. Or, like, you know, like, giving them a magical upgrade. So, yeah, at the end, um, um, they're able to, they're able to destroy the, like, memory stone. And get all the memories back. And for some reason, I'm not joking. Sunset apologizes to Wallflower. <sighs> for some reason. Even though, right, if, even though, in my opinion... This is all Wallflower's fault because, you know, like, she's the one who isn't trying hard enough to get friends or something. So, yeah, it's just stupid of how- it's just stupid that Sunset is the one to apologize for nothing. When in reality, it should be just Wallflower blush. <sighs> but yeah, anyways, uh, I won't go into too much detail about that because, uh... Uh, I reacted to a, I, I reacted to a uh, a video about that a while back. Uh, it, I think it's called why it's I think it's called why I hate a wallflower blush. But yeah, anyways. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I thought you know like forgotten friendship was good. The, the only thing I didn't like was was the whole like sunset forgiving like you know like wallflower blush thing for some reason. But yeah, anyways, you know. I mean, I do get why she has to forgive her because, you know, like, she didn't treat, like, Wallflower Blush with respect. But at the same time, the, like, Wallflower is still in the wrong more. So, yeah. Anyways. Uh, anyways, you know, we get. After, you know, like. Anyways, you know, after that, we get. What do you call it? Uh. Roller Coaster of Friendship. Where Rarity gets a job in Equestria Land as the lead, uh. Costume designer, or something like that. Uh, uh, by Viet Valencia, who has some equestrian magic in her phone that allows her to uh, transport anything to this like white room and replace it and replace it with a hologram for some reason. I guess I don't know. And then some fighting happens between. Uh, sorry, and then some like fighting happens between um, a rarity and Applejack because. You know, Applejack is saying that, you know, like, you know, like, because Applejack is saying that, Viet, you know, like, Viet Valencia is a, is, is evil, and, and Rarity, she won't listen to her, it, it's her because of the, because I don't know, really, it's so weird. And, and then Rarity finds out that Applejack was right, and goes to her, and, and they start hugging and making up, and I'm like, oh my god, just, oh my god, oh my god, just get a room or something. But yeah, but yeah. Anyways, you know. Anyways, you know, at the end, are they able to, like, are they able to fix their friendship and save and save the day? So yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah. I thought, I thought Roller Coaster Friendship was alright. I'm not gonna say it's good because 
I don't like the I don't like the amount of rare jack moments in there. But yeah, anyways, you know, in in 2019 we get uh, uh, we get Spring Breakdown, which which takes place after um, after what you call it the 2017 movie um, for and for Milo Pony French's Magic, where the girls take a cruise or something, but then it gets um, uh, destroyed by like by Storm King's power, I guess. Uh, but then Pony Twilight gives you know them the staff that you know she got from Storm King, obviously. So yeah. Anyways, 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 anyways. Like, sorry. Like at the end. Yeah, they just um, they use a portal on a nearby island, and then they I don't know go back home or something. So yeah, I thought Spring Breakdown was good, but you know I don't know really. Anyways, you know after that we get Sunset's Backstage Pass, where Sunset Shimmer wants to enjoy a concert by her favorite. Uh, a pop group of post crush, uh, but then Pinkie Pie keeps fucking up her plans until until post crush find this uh, equestrian um, artifact called I, th- I think what you call it, but it basic it basically like resets the day uh, like again and again. And so now Sunset Shimmer is living. And so now Sunset Shimmer is basically you know like we live in the same day again and again. Until she and uh, Pinkie Pie uh, destroy the artifacts and teach Post Crush that perfection isn't worth it at the end. So yeah. Anyways, uh, I thought it was actually good. Um, I do want to get a Spring Breakdown and and what do you call it? Uh, the Sunset's Backstage Pass, uh, Pass on DVD, but I think it's very expensive nowadays. So yeah. Anyways. Uh yeah um at, um at the end of at the at the end of 2019 we get um holidays unwrapped which is just a bunch of um holiday shorts so yeah uh it was basically the um, ending of Equestria Girls after that so yeah anyways m- anyways yeah my overall opinion my overall opinion on sorry, opinion on Equestria Girls is that it was a good like spin-off series um. I have heard that Hasbro it did this because like they were trying to they were trying to compete with Monster High, and I and I think and I think Equestria Girls is better than Monster High because I'm not a fan of monsters. I'm sorry, but I am a fan of ponies, ponies. You know, like like being human, I guess. But yeah, anyways, yeah, I thought Equestria Girls was actually like pretty good, um, even though even though some things weren't explained. Uh, for some reason but yeah uh, I'll see you guys next time and bye you-